Good morning, Claudia. Good morning, Sarah. How you doing, girls? Pretty good. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. It's been a pleasure. How was your day? Was it good? Fine. Fine, yeah. Did you do Fine, something special you. today? Uh, well, no. No. Nothing special. Nothing special. Working. Working. Mm -hmm. Working from yeah. home or working directly at site? <laughs> okay. Oh, no, I know, I know. But we're almost finished. Oh, this week, girls, remember that this week we're going to have classes until Friday. Remember that, right? This week we're going to have classes until Friday and next week as well. Just to give you like a heads up. Yes, teacher. Okay, awesome. Isa, how you doing? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Are you still having... Uh, dinner right now? Mm, no, I, 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 I am eating a churro. <laughs> ah, you're you're eating some snacks. Yes. <laughs> oh, good. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know if that happens to you as well, but sometimes I'm not as an egg snack lover, but sometimes you said I want a, I want a snack. <laughs> yeah. or something like that and you go directly to the store or the grocery store and pick one yeah definitely because <laughs> you like it sometimes you mix it with coke <laughs> and it's really delicious <laughs> yeah. <I understand. laughs> yeah but you know what today to be honest with you i need i like like you know, like a hot chocolate with marshmallows and sometimes I I want to eat a lot of candies. Uh -huh. Me too. <laughs> that, that happens to me as well. My, yeah. babies, my baby say, Mommy, why to why why you can can eat candies in in me? And I and I cannot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's a valid question. And what is your smart answer for that? Uh, and I say, I am I am a mother, and you are children. <laughs> uh, that's not a valid answer. <laughs> but how uh, does your baby react to that? <laughs> what is your does your baby said? Uh, only okay. only loud. <laughs> uh, okay. Yes. Um, that's a smart answer. I will put it in practice. But with my baby dogs. <laughs> yeah, because they all they also love candies, you know. Yes, Especially I know. Cookies. I, um, yeah, on my break, I was doing like this. And immediately I saw that one is on my left side and the other one is on my right side. Like that. Waiting for a cookie. Can you imagine? Oh my God. Yes, it's amazing. But my dogs love also snacks as well. You know what? What is your favorite snack? Do you have any favorite snack? Um, cookies. Cookies. And candies. Uh, yes. Cookies and candies. <laughs> yes. uh, do you have any favorite cookie brand? Um chocolate <laughs> chocolate one which one like the ships ahoy ones or the oh what's the name of that of those the cheeky ones um yes but i prefer the onions or onions i don't oh, i don't remember the names oreos. The oreos <laughs> yes oh, yes okay yeah because uh, uh, only the middle part is like a banana yes. flavor right uh -huh. yes okay I'm it, nice. it's delicious yeah. for me yes <laughs> It is delicious. With uh, some milk. <laughs> what? Cold milk or hot milk? Mm, cold milk. Cold milk. In this cake, yeah. cold oh milk. God, that's a perfect combination. You know what? That will be my snack before going to bed. That would be nice. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> oh, my God. You're so bad. I, now our, I need something to eat, you know? Oh, my goodness. Why did I ask you that question? Hey guys, 
to to update you about what's going on is Zara and me we're talking about snacks like for example any cookies any candies or vegetables do you have a a preferred ice snack? cream for me ice cream for you okay yeah. it doesn't matter what flavor it doesn't matter it doesn't matter gotta yeah. be ice cream okay yeah. Yeah. cool what about you david do you have any favorite snack um, um be honest about any food uh-huh yeah yeah i really like hamburgers hamburger hamburgers for a snack <laughs> yeah i really like to to eat the hamburgers when i'm watching a movie ah yeah of course hamburgers when you're watching a movie how about a small bites like for example something uh, faster to eat like popcorn uh, or cookies um i like um a french fries french fries all righty mm. only the french fries so you put some ketchup mayonnaise cheese and all the stuff yes okay good especially when you're watching a movie yeah i i really like to relax and eating yeah, yeah. are you listening right mr david okay so <laughs> french fries ice cream cookies all right that's awesome oh my god you're making me angry right now hangry no angry hangry all right uh Nubi, what about you do you have any favorite snack uh my favorite snack is space and lemon chips really yeah uh -huh. only lemon or you put something extra Nubi, hello. I don't know what happened with Nubi. Maybe her internet went like down. Okay. Don't worry. Thank you, Nubi. Um, Ruthie, how are you, Ruth? Hopefully, Ruth is here. Hi, teacher. Hey, welcome to the jungle. Welcome to the class, by the way. <laughs> We're Sorry. About snack. Um. Do you have uh, de venir, perdón. Oh, okay, don't worry. That's okay. Uh, would you like to eat something special? For example, do you like any specific snack? Um, you know platanitos. what a snack is, right? Uh, platanitos. Oh, okay. Fried bananas, all right. What else? Uh, no, pero snacks? Mm-hmm. Okay, platanitos eh, de la Diana o popcorn. Popcorn, okay. With, with butter. Uh huh. With butter. Yes. So, you, um, but the oh. the natural ones or the one that you bought in the uh, the supermarket and you put it into the microwave. Uh no, the um, cinema. Ah, okay. Awesome. I I go into cinema. I buy. Uh, uh, there okay and come back my house and eat aha <laughs> uh -huh. but what about if you don't if you if you're not you don't have to go to the cine so the cinema or the movie theater because of course there is no money right there's no time that that they have paid you but you like to eat something at home yes um i like um stay at at home mm -hmm. and when you but, stay home uh, do you eat something in between meals uh sorry do you eat something between meals comes algo en medio de comidas o entre comidas uh no no, no. um uh -huh. sometime for for work i oh. i don't have time ah you don't have time <gasps> yeah. no i always make time for my snacks <laughs> ah, okay. Excuse um, me. 
de eso que yo le comentaba, pero eso no es de todos los días que lo hago. No, o sea, no, of course, pues, of course. One, once month. Mm -hmm. O oh, every two months. Ah, really? No. Yeah. For me, once every 15 days. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> But you know what? I'm going to remember when I uh, go to the ice cream factory. I will remember Alex because Alex loves ice cream by heart. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And Nubi said that she loves snacks with lemon. And David said that he loves French fries. And you said that you love popcorn. And Isa said that she loves the Oreo cookies because it has a lot of chocolate. Ooh, chocolate. That's the best And thing that it has already been invented. Excuse Definitely. me. Yes, Alex. And how do you say, um, I don't know if I'm, I'm okay, a uh, cocktail, a uh, fruit cocktail? Fruit cocktail, yeah. That is delicious. Mix it with the screen, ice cream. Oh, yeah. But yeah. not all the fruits. So which fruits would you prefer or, is, or are your favorite fruits to mix it with ice cream? Oh, I love peaches. Peaches, uh-huh. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, it's strawberries. Strawberries? And... Which right now they're oh. pretty expensive. Bananas. Banana, yeah. Yeah, or how do you say uvas? Uh, grapes. Grapes, yes, 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 grapes. Which one, the red ones or the green ones? That doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. As long as there are grapes. Okay. No. Yeah. You know what? I imagine it like Lao Lao, remember? Lao Lao. Lao Lao. It's an ice cream factory. Jiao Jiao. Yeah. Oh, oh, you said Jiao Jiao? All right. But for me, it's Lao Lao. <laughs> yeah, you should visit that. It's really lo It's really amazing, right, Frank? But it's a little bit expensive, but it's worth yeah. it. At least one in a month is okay. Yeah. Okay, you see, mm -hmm. you're making your own recipes. Hey, maybe we we're going to uh, do some presentations, but don't worry. Later on, <laughs> okay. the, the, right now the little hamster is working right inside of my brain. Okay. <laughs> Frank, thank you, Alex. Frank, what about you? Do you have any favorite snack? Hello, good evening, teacher. Uh, snack? Um, Be honest. Uh, only uh, uh, I I love the sweets, sweets, every sweets. So you uh, like the sweet, the sweet things. Sweet things, uh, yes. For example, uh, bread. I sweet bread. bread. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> with a cup of coffee in the afternoon around 3.34 p.m., right? What? Uh, uh, with a cup of coffee around 3.30 or 4 p.m.? Mm -hmm. For, uh, for the a.m. and p.m. That's the must, right? Yes. Daily, is a daily thing that you do. Okay, but um, do you like, um, I think you should like cake, right? Yes, I like cake. Do you have any um, specific cakes flavor that you like? Um, uh, I like the chocolate. Um, chocolate um, with 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 mm -hmm. fresh, with maracuya or cocoa or whatever. Coconut. Oh my goodness, <laughs> guys, you are making me ang hungry right now. Starving. You know what a starving is. No. Yes, it's kind of, it's, uh -huh. it's about, Hi, Alex. about English. Yeah. For example, when you have no eat, you're hungry, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, but when you have not, for example, um, you have no eat. Rem like, and let put an example. You didn't have time to have your breakfast. You did, didn't have time to have your lunch on time, so. You will maybe you're going to end up eating at around 3 p.m. your breakfast and your lunch, which we will call brunch. So you will be starving because you will have like a huge hole in your tummy. No, Raul. 
Amor, ahorita estoy en clase. Siga yes. viendo eso y después vamos a ver, amigo Mumu. De que vea lo que quiere ver ahorita. Sí. Vaya a ver lo que estaba viendo, por favor. <risa> ya, ver, ya lo voy a pagar. Thank you, Raulito. You make me laugh right now. Okay, we're going to see Mumu friend tomorrow, okay? <laughs> Just kidding. All right, you're very good. En otras palabras, tener hambre. Hungry. Uh, you're starving. Te estás muriendo del hambre, right? That's a starving. Now, you see, new vocabulary. Starving. Hey guys, what date is today, by the way? What date is today? Today is Tuesday. Tuesday what? Today is... Uh, 28. 28. Tuesday what? Tuesday 28th. Uh-huh. 28th of October, September, November, December, what? November. 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 Okay. What year? 2023. 2023. All right. Do me a favor. Who can write the dates for me? Who can write today's date on the chat? Don't go, David. <laughs> Unless you have an excuse. Do me a favor. Let's see. Carlita. Carlita. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Do me a favor. Could you please be so kind to write on Zoom chat today's date, if you don't mind? I write. I. I write oh, no. Oh, that is easy, queasy. I have, have written. Guys. You're like Scrooge in English, right? Codo in English. Come on. I. Ah, na, 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 na. Kind of, kind of. But it's missing something, Frank. It's missing something, Carlita. Christian is missing something. And it's something extra that we don't need. Christian is 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 good. It's good, but is th there's something extra there, and is something missing in Christian's example? Look at Christian's example. What do you think is missing today? Today today is twenty eight. No eight. Aha, uh -huh. first of all, it's 28, yes. I like Christian's example because um, basically it's showing that correct um, structure, but there's something missing. Tuesday. Okay, Frank, do me a favor, write it for us. Write it. I know that this should be like an easy peasy queasy, but it's really important to refresh these things. But don't take the whole class, okay? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Aha. Isa almost, almost Isa. Isabel almost almost wrote it perfect, but you're you're adding something extra that we don't need. Look at Isa's example. It's almost perfect. Almost. But something is extra that we don't need it. Can you please identify what it is? She said Tuesday, which is good because it's capital T, because we're starting a sentence. Coma, November or November, which is good. Capital N because it's an own name of a, a proper name of a month. We got 28th, you see, 8th. Because remember, when we're talking about dates, we use ordinal numbers, no cardinal numbers. So I don't want you to pronounce 28. I want you to pronounce 28th with a TH, right? But... After the 28th, 
There is no comma. So it's only Tuesday, comma, November 28th, 2023. You gotta erase the second comma. Only the first comma. That's it. And of course, period at the end of the sentence, which is really good. So good job, Isa. Good job. Excellent job. You see? Eating, it's, you see, you have, you, you, you have your energy. Awesome. And your gasoline. Very good job. Excellent job. Okay, guys, do me a favor. Repeat after me. 28th. 28. 28. No, 8. No, 8. 28. 28. 28. 28. Try to put your tangle between the two groups of your teeth. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. Uh-uh. Nubi, do it, do it one more time, Nubi. 28. 28. 28. 28. 8. Eight. Okay, better. Much better. Much better. Remember, guys, when we have a T and an H together, it will sound like if you have Z, as in zebra. Ace. But when you have a P and an H together, it sounds like F, as in Frank. For example, you said Philadelphia. Phoenix, Arizona. Phonetic. Let me give an example. Phoenix. That one, you pronounce like this. You pronounce it Phoenix. The PH is like <sighs> F sound. And the TH, it's like Z as in zebra sound. You see? So never forget that. It's really, really important, that pronunciation. Of course, it's hard because we don't have those sounds in, in, in English, and at least not at the beginning. But don't worry, we practice. Do me a favor. Can you come up with a word that starts with TH? A word. And that you need Under. to pronounce it like... Like with Z? What about when you are happy that somebody give you something? How do you respond? If I give you a chocolate, what are you going to say? Thank you. Exactly. But you said thank you or you said thank you. Thank you. And thank and you. And Very good. You see, we have a TH. So we need to pronounce it with a Z. Thank you. Right? Okay. Can you come up with a with a sentence or with a word that starts with PH? And you have to pronounce it with F as in Frank. Or well, doesn't start with PH, but has a PH Fun. in the middle. Mm -hmm. For example, the Fun? other good. Um Thursday. Thursday, good job, good job. Exactly, you're right about that. Phone or telephone, mm -hmm. exactly. There any other one? Ha ha, we need to play a game that will basically put in practice all your English vocabulary. You'll see, you'll see. I will come up with a game like that. Mm -hmm. Very good job. Good job, guys. I know that it's, this is like a teacher, but this is like a, so an important. Yes, it is important. Because I always need, basically, you need to always remember how to write correctly in English, how to use the punctuation correctly, and also the pronunciation, because it's really important. And talking about pronunciation, guys, today we're going to focus on two things. We're going to focus on pronunciation, and we're going to focus about listening as well. This is going to be our main goals for today's class. So today, guys, it's really important to learn how to pronounce it because sometimes even though you write a sentence that may have a verb like is or like have or has, but you write it, but when you pronounce it, 
it's really hard to detect that. Sometimes you need to like pronounce a sentence, but without saying the verb. Teacher, what's that? Well, that is exactly the, the, pronunciate, the main topic for today. We're going to work, guys, on how to reduct auxiliary verbs. And today, and then we're going to practice together. You're going to listen, guys, and then we're going to practice how the auxiliary verbs, for example, is, are, has, and have, are reducted in conversation. You know what reducted is? Redu when you reduct something, it's like if it's hard for the other people to catch that there was a verb there. And why is really important to know to do that? Because that is basically one of the practice that makes you not only speak fluently, but at the same time makes you speak like a native English. You understand? Yeah. And then we're going to practice together. Are you excited? Look at Saul. She's like, he's like, damn, what am I to? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. That's what we're here for. Are you ready to pay attention to class? And then we're going to practice. So don't worry about it. Are you ready? Yes, yes, yes teacher. Yes, yes, also. Okay, cool. Excellent. That's the spirit that I need. Okay, let's practice together. Let's listen. And then we're going to practice. X, exercise four, pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Reduction of auxiliary verbs. Part A, listen and practice. Notice how auxiliary verb forms is, are, has, and have are reduced in conversation. Fresh water is being wasted. Newspapers are being thrown away. Too much trash has been created. Parks have been lost. Aha! Uh -huh. Do me a favor. Do you that? Do you detect what is the the first verb that they use on the first sentence? Any idea? Any idea? I'm not going to say you're right or you're wrong. Any idea? No? Yes. Which one? Saul? Um, I think they talk about the... Uh... Oh, my God. Aha! Aha! <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. That's okay. But it, it, but let me ask you, it was really hard to detect it because they hardly pronounce it. Let's listen one more time. And then you will see. You will see what we're talking about, Saudi. All right. Let's see. Let's do it one more time. Page 46. Exercise 4. Pronunciation. Reduction of auxiliary verbs. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how the auxiliary verb forms is, are, has, and have are reduced in conversation. Fresh water is being wasted. Newspapers are being thrown away. Too much trash has been created. Parks have been lost. Aha! Uh -huh. That's waste. Aha. Uh -huh. Exactly. But there, for example, on the first sentence, because they use being, right? Jaron. Yes. So do you detect what is the bird to be that goes before it? Being. Is it, it was it is or is. was it are? Ah. Uh -huh. Aha, uh -huh. on the second sentence, they said, being thrown away. Was it are or was it is? There was a, a third sentence, too much trash being created. Was it have or was it has? Parks being lost. Was it have or was it has? It was really hard to detect it, right? Because basically what we are going to work is to pronunciation in a reduction way of auxiliary verbs. Today we're listening to auxiliaries, the verb to be and the verb have. Now, guys, 
do me a favor. Let me send you uh, the sentences that we are listening. And let's do another practice. Because right now it's harder because you're trying to use your imagination, right? To understand the entire sentence. But it's going to be a little bit easy when you have the physical sentence and then you are paying attention at the same time that you're reading. Let's do that. Let me just go back. I will send you via WhatsApp um, the sentences, and then we are going to practice the listening activity one more time. And you will, you will see, guys, that when you have the sentences visualized, it's a little bit easier to just listen it. So just give me a couple of minutes. Let me just send it right now really quickly and do me a favor. Let me know once you receive it. All righty, do you have it with you? Do you have it with you right now? Yeah? Take a look at your WhatsApp. Do you have it? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, okay. All righty. So if you can, you have this. Let me just share right now my screen. Where is my book here? Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, yes, yes, there is. I have it. Do you see my book? Yes? Do you see it? No. Oh, uh, yes. Right. What about now? Yes. Okay, now yes. Okay. So you have these guys. You have this, right? Take a look. You have is here, you have are, you have has, and you have have. Why I have it as a scratch it? Porque la tengo señalada. Porque when you pronounce it, you write it. But when you pronounce it, you do not pronounce it. Eso es lo que quiero que vean. Como cuando usted habla, you're going to learn how to reduce the verb sentences. Hagamos una cosa. See it? Te doy un minuto. Take a look at the sentences. And when you are familiar with the sentence, I will play the audio one more time. And then I want you to focus on how, when, you when you're talking or when you're saying the sentence, how you reduce, so you hardly say the verb to be, or you hardly say the verb have. Fresh water is being wasted. Newspaper is being thrown away. Too, too much trash is being created. Parks being lost. Mira. You say it, but it's really hard to detect it. You want to listen one more time? Yes, teacher. Okay, now do me a favor. Take a look at the sentences. And when you're reading the sentence, try also to focus on the listening part. And then we're going to work two skills right now, the reading and the listening. So let's let's play it one more time. Mm -hmm. Page 46, exercise 4, pronunciation. Reduction of auxiliary verbs. Part A, listen and practice. Notice how the auxiliary verb forms is, are, has, and have are reduced in conversation. Fresh water's being wasted. Newspapers are being thrown away. Too much trash has been created. Parks have been lost. Aha! Uh -huh. What about now? Better. Has been, they, they don't pronounce right? has sex exactly. Uh, you see, you see exactly. I can hear you as been. Mm -hmm. Let's practice. Let's practice together the reduction. Let's practice the pronunciation together. 
But you see, now it's a little bit much better, right? Because you have physical view of the sentences. Let's practice. Any big team? Okay, Saulito, do me a favor. Can you please be so kind to say the first sentence? Try to not to pronounce the auxiliary verb the best that you can. The first one. Fresh, fresh words being wasted. Very good. Awesome. Good job. Carlita, number two. Newspapers are being thrown away. Okay, okay. Do me a favor. Good. But try not to pronounce the R. So you pronounce it, but try to make us really hard to detect it. Do it more time. Newspapers, but I have to pronounce as contraction. If you want. Newspapers, but I... Uh-huh, it's hard, right? Yeah, I... <laughs> do you have do you more. Newspapers being thrown away. Very good. Not too bad. Excellent. Good job. <laughs> With the practice, but the word, excellent job. Isa, are you ready for number three? <laughs> yes, I'm not teacher. I'm not ready. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, Isa, don't worry, Zara. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will give you. I will give you time, so don't worry about that. Isa, number three, please. Don't don't say has. Uh huh. Okay. Too much trash, too much trash, trash being created. Okay, too much trash being created. Very good. Nuvi, number four. Parks, parks being lost. Parks have been lost. Very good. Awesome. Not too bad. Was it hard, this part, a little bit? A little bit. But don't worry, practice makes perfection. I think we ought to practice each other with the partner. What happens, Abuelito? Uh, with, with, I think I, we ought to practice with the partner, with the then. Ah, don't worry, yeah. you will practice, you'll see. <laughs> don't worry, okay. don't worry. This is the easiest part. You, you have no make me and show yeah. you the hardest part of this teacher. We, we, so don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, you'll see. Now what I want is basically just to focus on the listening part and this pronunciation. But you'll see, we are just coming to the to the part that you're going to practice with your partner. So don't, don't worry about it, Saulito. Hold your horses. Controla tus caballos, like I said. <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah, that, almost there, so little. All right, so do me a favor. Okay, now, guys, let's continue with the listening part. I'm going to share with you something about person's concern. For example, let me ask you a direct question. Yes, Francisco. Teacher, um, I'm... Voy a decir un español, pero no, no puedo explicar bien inglés lo que quiero decirle. Yo entiendo lo, lo de reducir, la reducción del auxiliar ver, pero, pero ¿por qué se hace eso? Lo que no entiendo. No, eh, no es que lo que pasa es que cuando tú practicas la reducción, esto ayuda a hacer un poco más fluida tu pronunciation and the way that you speak English. Porque nosotros, cuando hablamos, o sea, lo utiliza, sí, sí se utiliza gramaticalmente hablando y tú tienes que saber cómo se escribe correctamente una idea o una frase. But when you speak in English, cuando tú hablas con un native one, es rarísimo que tú lo oigas pronunciar eso. Entonces, ¿por qué? Porque that's the way we speak. Esa es la manera en que nosotros hablamos. Entonces, ¿Por qué, quiero, ¿Por qué es, es importante hacer eso? Para que cuando tú hables, trates de 
fluidez más el inglés y suenes más nativo al hablar. All right. Okay. That's the Thank way. You. For example, um, te, te pondré un ejemplo sencillo. Tú, cuando tú vas y tú vas a un amigo, y creo que Ulito te podría decir eso porque he has been in the States, eh, te puede decir, yo, tú no le dices cordialmente, hey, my friend, Carita, would you like to play basketball with me? Would you like to go and play basketball? You don't do that. Nosotros sencillamente le decís, hey, want to play? ¿Así? Y vos, ¿eh? Si tú te fijas, no lo hacemos cordialmente. Nosotros, hey, hey, do, obviamente este es chavo, ¿eh? Do, eso es para chavos, nunca para chicas. Así como WhatsApp, así como um, Bugs Bunny. What's up, dude? ¿Sí? ¿Te acuerdas? Es como decir en español, ¿qué pasó, vato? Right? What's up, dude? Entonces, tú le dices a su abuelito, hey, dude, wanna play? O tú, tú solo le dices así, ¿eh? con la mano. What play? Mira. ¿Qué dijo esto? Yo dije, wanna play. But when I pronounce it, tú dijiste, a saber qué dijo. Right? Because that's the way we speak. Wanna play? Eh. ¿Sí? O eso solo lo hacemos así. Es parte de aprender a hablar fluido como un American un Slam, si tú quieres. ¿Sí? Entonces, okay. but, so, so we, we, we got to practice the construction. Exactly. You, you want to practice the construction or the structure of the verb because I want you guys to learn how to write and speak normally and correctly and grammatically in English. But at the same time, when we practice the pronunciation like this pronunciation example, is because I want you guys to train your ear to understand other people when they speak. Because sometimes when you speak, you, you mention it. But it's really hard to detect it because they speak faster. You understand, Francisco? Yeah? Yes, I got it. You got it? Es como tú dices, Hey, carnal, vamos a jugar. Like that? It's exactly like that in English. Ay, no creas. Tenemos varios. Oye, sí? Yes, I see. Cool. Excellent. Okay, guys. Um, te hago una pregunta. ¿Hay algún problema que tú quisieras solucionar en el mundo? Problema ambiental, problema económico, problema salud. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Yes. Ok. Pues, uh, pues precisamente lo que vamos a ver ahorita es um, a tres personas que they are talking about en este caso, environmental solutions, soluciones medioambientales. Personas van a hablar acerca de problemas serios uh, medioambientales, serious environmental pro problems. Primero, quiero que detecten eh, el problema de la que la persona está hablando. I want you to detect which problem person talks about. And, y después... What can be done about it? Y lo que se puede hacer al respecto. ¿Te parece? ¿Sí? Ok. Sí, sí. teacher. No, teacher. Más o menos, teacher. <laughs> I'm just teaching you. Ok, guys. Let's listen to the problem. And then we come up with a solution. Espérenme, chavo, o your horses. En otras palabras, detenga los caballos. Page 47. Cool. Ok, let me share right now my screen really quick. There you go, there you go, I have it here. Awesome. Ok, there you go. Pay attention to the problem. Listening. Environmental Solutions. Part A. 
Listen to three people describe some serious environmental problems. Check the problem each person talks about. Mm -hmm. One, Jenny. Wait, don't throw that out. Why not? Recycle it. I've been reading a lot about how much trash we produce and what happens to all of it, and it really has me worried. Why? Well, it seems that the easiest way to dispose of trash is by burying it in landfills, land that could be used by farmers to grow food and other things. The problem is that in many countries, the dumping areas have already been filled up, and it's hard to find places to start new ones. Of course, no one wants trash buried in their neighborhood, but it has to go somewhere. So what's the solution? Well, there is no easy solution. However, many cities are trying to do more recycling so that they can reduce the amount of stuff that goes into the landfills. 2. Adam. I love my new phone, but I don't know what to do with my old one. It's so outdated. I know I shouldn't just throw it away. Well, you're right about that. Not disposing of electronic devices and other appliances properly is a huge problem these days. Not just here, but all over the world. Many people don't know what to do with their old phones, computers, video game systems, TV sets, refrigerators. There are dangerous chemicals in these products, and they have to be handled in the right way. So, what are we supposed to do? Well, e-waste is not going away. With all the new technology these days, there's more e-waste than ever before. The solution is just to dispose of it responsibly. The good news is that there are more and more e-waste processing centers where professionals take these products and separate them into their various parts. Many of the parts can be reused, of course. 3. Katie You know, you always hear about air pollution, but not many people are aware of the problem of water pollution. You mean in the oceans? No, I mean polluted drinking water. It's a problem in almost every major city in the world. Almost all our rivers and lakes, where we get our drinking water from, are being polluted in some way by businesses, farms, homes, industries, and other sources. And even though the water most of us drink is treated, it's still not 100% pure. So what's the solution? Well, it's a complicated problem to solve, but basically what's involved is treating all waste products more carefully so that dangerous chemicals and bacteria don't get into our water supply. Was it easy to detect the problem on this particular as an area, on these three conversations? Was it easy? Not at all, right? Un poco complicado, right? Okay, why? Si ustedes se fijan, the listening parts are getting hotter and hotter and hotter right now. Why? Because sometimes, guys, uh, the answer is not giving us easy, is the easiest way. Sometimes you need to, like, concentrate in the whole situation or the whole story that the people or the person that describes the, the problem is saying you need to detect for everything or for every word that the purpose says, you need to detect what is the main concern. En otras palabras, de toda la historia que la persona dice, tú tienes que sacar de allí cuál es la verdadera razón de que está hablando, lo que está hablando, cuál es su concern, su preocupación. Y a veces no te lo dice así tan fácilmente, ¿no es cierto? Tienes que detectar de todo lo que te dice cuál es la main idea. Por eso es que te estoy poniendo ese tipo de, de audios. Porque es fácil cuando la gente te dice de un solo su situación. Pero cuando te cuentan toda la historia y en medio de toda la historia está lo que la persona le preocupa. That's the hardest part. Do you see? ¿Qué te parece si hoy volvemos a escucharlo? We're going to listen one more time. 
pero esta vez voy a pausar en la primera y así voy a ir en la, cada una. Y ustedes me van a decir cuál es el main concern, pero les voy a hacer súper buena onda a la ticha. No, si esta ticha que tienen no crean, no están, no están hecha leña. We're going to do something. Sí, ya sé que lo han pensado. Ustedes lo pensaron, pero yo lo dije. ¿tá? Ok. <risa> Entonces, vamos a hacer algo. Les voy a dar el cuadrito de lo que están escuchando. Y el cuadrito tiene la persona que dice las cosas y también las dos posibles respuestas de cualquiera de las opciones que, que tú creas que la persona realmente le, le, le preocupa. ¿Le preocupa a uno o le preocupa al otro? Tú tienes que, que detectar cuál de las dos opciones es el problema que realmente la persona le preocupa. That's what I'm going to give it to you right now. Déjame ver. Vaya. Vale. Ahorita voy. No crean. There you go. I'm going to send you to the WhatsApp right now. Tell me if you receive it, please. Did you receive it? You got it? Nubi, Isa, Claudi, Natalie, Glendy, Ruti, Isaac. Yeah. Got it. Yes. Got it. Cool. Okay. So now you have the the person that is that are speaking, and you have the problems. For example, Jenny, we have two options, guys: or landfills, or poor farmland. Adam, we have electricity or e-waste. And Katie, or Katie, has air pollution or water pollution. So pay attention to each of them when they are describing some serious environmental problems, which are their main concerns. Vamos a otra vez. Y otra vez vamos a ir pausando uno por uno. One by one. Age 46. Exercise 5. Listening. Environmental Solutions. Part A. Listen to three people describe some serious environmental problems. Check the problem each person talks about. 1. Jenny. Wait, don't throw that out. Why not? Recycle it. I've been reading a lot about how much trash we produce and what happens to all of it, and it really has me worried. Why? Well, it seems that the easiest way to dispose of trash is by burying it in landfills, land that could be used by farmers to grow food and other things. The problem is that in many countries, the dumping areas have already been filled up, and it's hard to find places to start new ones. Of course, no one wants trash buried in their neighborhood, but it has to go somewhere. So what's the solution? Well, there is no easy solution. However, many cities are trying to do more recycling so that they can reduce the amount of stuff that goes into the landfills. Two. Okay, guys, on this first conversation or explanation, what is really concerning this girl? Landfills? Yes. Or poor yeah, farmland? Yeah, landfills. Out of garbage. Landfills. Uh, landfills. Great. Awesome. Good job. Let's listen to number two. Let's listen to Adam. Adam. I love my new phone, but I don't know what to do with my old one. It's so outdated. I know I shouldn't just throw it away. Well, you're right about that. Not disposing of electronic devices and other appliances properly is a huge problem these days. Not just here, but all over the world. Many people don't know what to do with their old phones, computers, video game systems, TV sets, refrigerators. There are dangerous chemicals in these products, and they have to be handled in the right way. So, what are we supposed to do? Well, e-waste is not going away. With all the new technology these days, 
there's more e-waste than ever before. The solution is just to dispose of it responsibly. The good news is that there are more and more e-waste processing centers where professionals take these products and separate them into their various parts. Many of the parts can be reused, of course. Okay, so Aiden, what is his main concern? Electricity or e-waste? E-waste. E-waste. E awesome, very good. Let's listen to Katie. Three, Katie. You know, you always hear about air pollution, but not many people are aware of the problem of water pollution. You mean in the oceans? No, I mean polluted drinking water. It's a problem in almost every major city in the world. Almost all our rivers and lakes, where we get our drinking water from, are being polluted in some way by businesses, farms, homes, industries, and other sources. And even though the water most of us drink is treated, it's still not 100% pure. So what's the solution? Well, it's a complicated problem to solve, but basically what's involved is treating all waste products more carefully so that dangerous chemicals and bacteria don't get into our water supply. Hey, what about this, this last one, Jenny? Katie, sorry. About water pollution. Water pollution. Water pollution. Water pollution. Now, do me a favor. Can you detect what can be done about each problem? I'm, now we're going to do something. We already focus on what is the main concern for each guys. Now, guys, we're going to still continue listening, but I want you to focus on a specific information. All that I need you to focus on is to let me know what can be done about each problem. What is the solution that they are given to, to solve, for example, landfills, to resolve e-waste, and to resolve water pollution? Okay, let's listen one more time. Just let me know what can be done about each problem. That's it. Page 46, exercise 5, listening. Environmental solutions. Mm -hmm. Part A. Listen to three people describe some serious environmental problems. Check the problem each person talks about. 1. Jenny. Wait, don't throw that out. Why not? Recycle it. I've been reading a lot about how much trash we produce and what happens to all of it, and it really has me worried. Why? Well, it seems that the easiest way to dispose of trash is by burying it in landfills, land that could be used by farmers to grow food and other things. The problem is that in many countries, the dumping areas have already been filled up, and it's hard to find places to start new ones. Of course, no one wants trash buried in their neighborhood, but it has to go somewhere. So what's the solution? Well, there is no easy solution. However, Many cities are trying to do more recycling so that they can reduce the amount of stuff that goes into the landfills. Two. So what is the possible solution for landfills? Cycling. Recycling. Awesome. Number two. Two. Adam. I love my new phone, but I don't know what to do with my old one. It's so outdated. I know I shouldn't just throw it away. Well, you're right about that. Not disposing of electronic devices and other appliances properly is a huge problem these days. Not just here, but all over the world. Many people don't know what to do with their old phones, computers, video game systems, TV sets, refrigerators. There are dangerous chemicals in these products, and they have to be handled in the right way. So, what are we supposed to do? Well, E-waste is not going away. With all the new technology these days, there's more e-waste than ever before. The solution is just to dispose of it responsibly. The good news is that there are more and more e-waste processing centers where professionals take these products and separate them into their various parts. Many of the parts can be reused, of course. So what's the problem with the e-waste and what we can do about it? 
So he talking two uh, solutions. One is res uh, be responsible and uh, recycling e waste. Uh huh. To reuse it, right? Or, or take into the industries that uh -huh. they have the solutions to make a, a selection of the parts of <clears throat> of these uh, appliances. Very good, very good. Now listen to the last one, the solution for water pollution. Three, Katie. You know, you always hear about air pollution, but not many people are aware of the problem of water pollution. You mean in the oceans? No, I mean polluted drinking water. It's a problem in almost every major city in the world. Almost all our rivers and lakes where we get our drinking water from, are being polluted in some way by businesses, farms, homes, industries, and other sources. And even though the water most of us drink is treated, it's still not 100% pure. So what's the solution? Well, it's a complicated problem to solve, but basically what's involved is treating all waste products more carefully so that dangerous chemicals and bacteria don't get into our water supply. Okay, so what is the solution for water pollution? Uh huh. Catherine, um, Carlito, I don't know. Car Carlita, David, Luis, Natalie. The drink, the drink mm -hmm. a nice words, I think. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Carol, yeah, with the chemical that, presence. Right uh huh. Aha, uh -huh, Alex, Ara, uh -huh, Carlita. Take care with the chemical products. Okay, that's good. Exactly. Any other one? Any other? Any other idea? Frank, Natalie, Glendy, Carlitos, Isa. Mm -hmm. Yes, Frank. Try okay. to verify that the water is not does not pollute. pollution. Mm -hmm. That's good, Alex. Mm -hmm. What are you about to say, Frank? Uh, I understand she talks about the, the problem is the water is con con uh, contaminated uh, contaminated, and that the people need to, uh, drinking water and the bottle. Mm -hmm. Exactly, bottle water, bottle, bottle, exactly. Bottle plastic. Mm -hmm. And the, the solution is the uh, the, the government of countries uh, working in the clean water for the this uh the ah. <laughs> it's going to be a hard word for you how to say that in english <laughs> but good job good job guys okay you see now it's a little bit easier right when you have listened carefully for example guys it's easier when i ask you to focus on a specific situation right you see we're working in listening skills to talking about everything to detect one specific information, and then we're talking about another one. So right now, do, do you think it, it, the last part, or the last time that you listened to this conversation was a little bit easy than the first time? Fue más fácil que la primera vez? Ahorita? Not yes. at all, not at all. Not at all, Alex? Come on, Alex. Yes, easy, easy, easy. Easy, peasy, queasy. Ha! You like that expression, right? Like a piece of cake. <laughs> eh, bueno. Ya que insisten, y ya que Mr. Alex insistió, tomorrow, guys, tomorrow will kill you. Because tomorrow will be speaking activities. Speaking, 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 speaking. I am giving you right now the tools. Tomorrow will be speaking and writing. So you would like to speak with your partners? You would like to participate more in class? Yeah, tomorrow you're gonna suffer, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Alex. Así que le pueden dar parranda si ustedes quieren al final, right? I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, guys. So it's time to say goodbye. My goodness, time passed really fast, right? Yeah. All righty. Okay, guys. So see you tomorrow in class. Hugs. Good night. Kisses. Good night. Bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night.